Hello, hello, hello. All right, I'm going to make a quick character for John um, in Simba Room in case he's able to join us on Wednesday night. Uh, he may make his own. Uh, I just saw that uh, he may not have time, so I'm going to go ahead and make it. And if he wants to use this character, he can. If he makes his own, great, etc. But we will have something for him if he can make it uh, Wednesday night. So, uh, again, uh, this is our rotating GM game. Uh, uh, and, of course, we've invited everyone we play with on Thursday, uh, uh, you know, on Tuesday, Wednesday nights to join us if they so want to. So they don't have to be a GM. They don't have to rotate. But they're welcome to join us. And so part of the joy of this thing that we do is share uh, the game. So here we go. Let's see. What should we do? Now, I'm a ranger fighter. Uh, David is a basically a fighter. Uh, Dell's going to be running that session, and he's uh, a goblin kind of uh, witch. Uh, let's see, what would be interesting for us to join our group? A sorcerer? How about a priest of Prios? Wouldn't that be something? All right. Turge! A turge! There we go. I don't know if he'd be a priest of Prios. But this ought to this ought to gum things up for Dell as this uh, this whole thing he's been doing is a big is a big uh, Prios thing Sun God of Prios. Okay, Ambrian of course Ambrian is not a bottled water it is the human uh, uh, empire so it's not uh, bottled water here Ambrian. Okay, so a two good priest of mystical powers the faith in the lawgiver is unwavering Prios is the sun and the light of the soul. The one who saved mankind from the bondage of the old gods, the creator of the world, and the protector of all life. From this purge spring flows extraordinary power. Your mystical knowledge would have been aimless and dangerous without your faith as a compass and a foundation, as is often shown when godless mystics wield their powers. Okay, so the important attributes. Well, let's see. Are there such things as important attributes? There are always important attributes. But right now, let's go ahead and get those attributes down here for John. Um, if I could see, I can't see in my uh, from where I'm sitting here. Right, so then we have this thing called accurate. This is basically for all combat, right? We have this thing called uh, cunning. This is your brains, your wits. Uh, then we have this thing called discreet. This is what you use to to uh, sneak, to steal, etc., uh, etc. Et then we have persuasive. I think I spelled that right. Probably not. My spelling is horrible, but that's okay. Persuasive. And then we have this thing called quick. This determines, obviously, mostly though, your defense and how whether you get to go early in combat rounds. Resolute. This is what's most important for a magic wielder. Resolute. Did I spell that right? That does not look right. Resolute. There's got to be you in there somewhere. Resolute. Uh, resolute, of course, uh, is used to control, to wield your powers. Uh, you make resolute checks against corruption, etc., etc. Then there's a thing called strong. This is just your physical uh, power. And then there's vigilance, which is your ability to spot uh, sneakers, it's your ability to be vigilant, uh, uh, um, uh, to perceive things, etc., etc., vigilant, there we go, okay, and we've got so many numbers here, we get to choose, we're going to place them, let me find the number, it's a, uh, you don't roll it up, it is a, um, uh, what do you call it here, a uh, array of numbers, right? So let's take a look here. We've got uh, 5, 7, 9, 10, 10, 11, 13, 15. Well, we're going to go resolute, the biggie, 15. Uh, 13, I think we should go probably 13 for persuasive. He is a priest of Prios. Uh, let's see here. Why not, why not have a uh, Bible-thumping persuasive priest? 13, 11 on vigilant. We want him to be observant enough. Um, Let's see here. How about discreet? Nah, we're not about that. Cunning, I think, could be important. However, um, that's a 10. 
and then let's go with uh, discreet. Let's go with quick. I want him to at least have his base defense strong. Doesn't have to. Be, whoops. Doesn't have to be big strong. Let's go uh, seven. I'm missing something. Uh, 15, 13, 11. Oh, I'm missing 11. Well, we definitely want. Mm, let's go quick 11. Discreet 10. And then last but not least is his combat acumen 5. No, let's do strong 5. Let's give him a little better combat acumen, right? We, he's going to be with two warriors. Uh, so I think, you know, I think he's going to be all right in that sense, right? So there we go. That is his abilities. You roll below this uh, on a 20 and below, modified by your opponent or modified by difficulty levels. So uh, what does Quick tell us? This is our base defense without armor, right? Um, it's also where we go in initiative order. Also, strong is our is our health, um, and this can't be lower than ten to start. So let's make sure we get this correct. Where is my? Uh, I want to double check this. Uh, I'm lost here. Help me! Help me! Ah. I think when resolute is our um, uh, temporary corruption and our permanent corruption, and I think our permanent, we get in trouble when we go above. Whoops, we get in trouble when we go above eight, right? Okay, what am I missing here? Health, his health is 10, right? Where is my strong? Here it is. Health is how much, or oh, toughness, not health. Excuse me. Toughness is 10, and you are knocked down. It's called um, uh, pain threshold. Pain threshold is five. So if you take any damage above and beyond, um, oh wait, no, gosh, your pain threshold is three. Excuse me, because it's half your strength. Uh, three. There we go. So pain. If you take any damage in one shot above three, uh, you are knocked down. You are knocked prone. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and get over to our Prios, Priest of Priost. Okay, so Ambrian, um, appropriate abilities, Medicus, Mystical Power, Ritualist, and Turgy, right? Well, we're definitely going to have uh, uh, let me try to spell that right, right? Uh, resolute should be 13 plus. Got it. Cunning or vigilant should be 11 plus. Well, we got vigilant at 11. We got cunning at 10. So maybe we should do 10 and go cunning 13. There we go. That's better. Okay. Um, let me keep going here. Got to get back here to our races. We already did our human thing. Ambrian names. I have no idea what I want to name him. I'll give him a name just in case John is not. And I'm going to take him straight from the Ambrian book here. Uh, let's go Baremo. That's pretty sweet. Baremo. Right. There we go. This would be John's character. Okay. Ambrian. Okay. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Hang in there. I'm moving along here. I'm trying to get to all this stuff. Okay, traits. Um, for Ambrians, we don't have. Let me double check that. Ambrians, characters, Queen's folk. They have the privileged trait. Do 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 do. Privileged. Privileged. The privileged trait. Um, okay, let me double check what that 
the word is privilege. A character belongs to a race of a high social standing within a society and is therefore given advantages that others simply cannot. The character gets a second chance to succeed when taking any social challenges, right? I'm going to put in here page 109. There we go. Okay. All right. Whoops. And that is unfortunately the only. I just tore my beautiful book. Oh, well. Abilities. Here we go. Now we have, uh, let me see your page, Mystic, right? Uh, da, 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 right, whoops, I gotta do this. Is a Mystic. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and look up. Medicus is a uh, obviously a healer. We're not going to do that. We're not going to go with the tried and true healer deal. Let's do something more interesting, like Turgy. Uh, Turgy is a, a, a mystical tradition championed by chosen pr uh, priest mages of the Church of Prios. It is the doctrine of the inner flame, where the ember of the soul is seen in the reflection of the divine and the life giving. Uh, so novice. Um, Novice, uh, page 123. Okay. Uh, no longer suffers permanent corruption when learning powers. At novice level, uh, belonging to a tradition of the... Uh, nor when learning the rituals. Despite this, the character still has uh, protection against the temporary corruption that comes from using powers of the turgy. So, that's pretty cool. So, you don't have to suffer temporary corruption when learning new skills nor when using rituals, powers and rituals of the Turgy. So that's very cool. Okay. Mystical traditions, powers, corruption, rituals. We want to pick one now. I think we should do, right, there it is, uh, page 126. This just describes what a Turgy is, right? Making sure I'm not missing anything here. Ambrians, titles, initiate. Shoot, if I could spell. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to put that there. We're going to go up here. Initiate Barimo. There we go. Powers. Uh, let's see here. Anathema, bless, shield, holy aura, inherit wound, lay on hands, levitate, prios, burning glass. True form and unnoticeable and witch hammer. Woo! Witch hammer sounds cool. Rituals. Uh, often perform in religious ceremonies of command or confession, exorcism. Okay, so let's do this right. Let's go down here to powers. Let's go, uh, I like that, um, Witch Hammer. And we'll get the page for that in a second. And then, of course, Rituals. Let's go, um, hmm, Exorcism. All right, so now let's go find them. Corruption. When nature is allowed to grow without preventing corruption, every devotee of Prios must accept the threat of corruption and keep their inner flame burning despite the risk of taint. Just as a light bringer, uh, fire shall be within the fog, etc., etc. This is all, um, you know, we're not independent. You are going to be part of the, the thing, the thing that is the thing. Okay, we're looking for... Uh, uh, da, 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 this ought to be pretty cool. Uh, where does exorcism should be in order? Why is exorcism not in alphabetical order? Um, 
say, what? Come on, should be in order. Witch Hammer. Witch Hammer's page 140. Okay, Witch Hammer. And this is at Novice. Uh, let's see, Witch Hammer. Uh, it is a melee weapon blessed with a ritual sanctifying rite. The mystic learns this shroud of a melee weapon in a holy light. Uh, holy fire encircles the novice's melee weapon and deals 1d4 additional damage. So it's 1d4 fire. How about that? Something like that. Um, do, 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 do. Or 1d6 additional damage if the target is in an abomination. 1d6 versus abomination. I cannot spell. What is my deal? Ab. Oh man, abomination. It's like my brain is just not working. Okay, and it works for the remainder of the scene. So that's pretty cool. Uh, or undead. Ooh, abomination or undead. So we mamma jam. All right, exorcism rituals. So let's see here. Exorcism is a tradition. Page one forty two. Um, the mystic can banish a spirit processing a creature or possessing a, a creature or person. The mystic gets three attempts to succeed with the resolute versus resolute test. So, uh, banish possession resolute v resolute. Pretty simple. Uh, no, 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 no. It only takes one successful test to banish the possessing force. Sweet. Treat all tests should fail. The spirit possesses the mystic. Oh, damn. And you get three, I think, three attempts. Oh, Dell will love possessing. Uh, will love possessing him here. Okay, there we go. That's that's it. We're pretty much done. Uh, equipment, right? So let's go down here. Let's go with. Uh, let me double check. Um, what a mystic is allowed to tote in there? I don't think there's a limit. Uh, by the way, our ability is. Let's see here. I think I already wrote that down, didn't I? Yep, sure did. Okay. So we got that 109. Making sure I didn't miss anything here. Minute arms. So it doesn't take a real long time here unless you want to mull over every little thing. Uh, but I am concerned about getting our equipment. And it doesn't say. I don't think there's any limit on it. That's good. Uh, so, that's pretty cool. Again, you can be a sword-wielding priest. If I can find the, the thing now here. Sorry, I'm looking at the book, kind of teetering on the edge of my desk, here at my desk, typing. So it's, it's not quite as great a video as I'd like to make, but I'm working as I do this. And I'm now, I've lost my equipment list. Here we go. Um, let's do this. Let's go uh, melee. I'm just going to do this so it's easy to uh, find. Page 149. And let's, whoops. Um, any melee sword he can, he can, he can wrap this flame around, which is pretty cool. So let's do this. Crow's beak sounds pretty cool. Where is the crow's beak? It is called a 
Yeah, let's do crow's beak. It's 1d8 plus 1. Deep impact. Okay. And then let's get, pick our... Uh, 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 let's do... Uh, Blessed robe. Uh, page... 151. Blessed robe is flexible. Uh, one die four protection. And it is, uh, well, won't worry about the money. And then, of course, all their abilities, I mean, all the stuff we carry is listed on page. Every character gets a certain amount of basic equipment, and that is listed on page. Oh, man. Oh, I think it's under character creation of what you're basically carrying. Mystics. Here we go. So, Mystics. I don't think there's a limit on what you can use weapon-wise. I'm not seeing it. Nope. So that's good. All right. Perfect. So I haven't messed anything up here. Um, equipment. Uh, page one se or page seventy eight, and then just basic equipment. Page seventy eight is what you're carrying. All right, there you go. I'm not going to describe them or anything. I'll leave all that to uh, Mr. John. I will export it as a PDF, and we're going to call that PDF John P. Simbarum onto my desktop so I can hand it over to them. And there we go. Got a, I've got something done. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,